So I was pretty glad to get out of the blazing heat. I mean, sure, don't get me wrong, there's nothing better than the smell of New York City in August. Unless, of course, you combine it with dead fish, chickens, and animals you wouldn't want on the grill of your car, let alone in your digestive tract. So I wasn't really paying much attention to the name of the bank when I walked in. I mean, the Bank of Siam or whatever seemed as good as the next to me. I just wanted 20 bucks and a breath of fresh air. Well, now I expected to be the minority in the place, but not exactly in this way. As I strode up to the counter, I, I thought, oh, great. Nothing I like more than a little wait while my teller pretends to confer with another co-worker. When in reality, I know they're just talking about what they did last night and laugh at how long they can make people wait in line. It was just then that my teller turned and said, next, next, chop, chop. Now, as I got to the counter, I felt a little dizzy, and I, I realized that the two tellers were at Attached. I mean, actually attached, just above the waist. I mean, one pair of pants and two ties. I almost lost my footing there for a while. They, they looked at me rather cross as I stumbled and said, I'm sorry, guys, I mean, I just didn't expect to see Siamese twins, you know? One of them said, we're not Siamese twins, as he sipped his coffee cup that resembled a figure eight. I said, oh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, what is it uh, now, uh, conjoined? Is that the PC term? Even though I don't know what the problem is, being named after a cat, and a cool one at that. That's when the other one looked at it and said, Look, sir, you are an odd man out here. Thinking to myself, really, these guys need to look up the word odd. I began to see that everybody in the bank was a Siamese twin. Now, my teller, whose name tag read Bobby slash Greg, said, Look, we only employ those like us to create atmosphere of acceptance. I said, Look, all right. Stop it. Knock it off. I understand that everybody's different. But that doesn't mean you rope yourself off from the rest of the world. That only makes you weaker. I mean, sometimes non-PC terms can help people develop spines, which, don't get me wrong, doesn't seem to be a problem for you, seeing that you have two. But fat people aren't Rubenesque. They're fat. Short people are not vertically challenged. They're short. At this point, Bobby slash Greg spit back, plus uh, your opinion, we consider your line of thinking archaic. We are the bank with a heart. I said, no, you seem to be in a bank with half a liver and too many heads. But stop feeling the weight of the world is on your shoulders, all four of them. Just give me my 20 bucks and I'm out of here. Bobby slash Greg eyed each other, said, sorry, sir, we, we don't serve your kind here. I said, what? What, my kind, because I'm not a Siamese twin? We're not Siamese twins, they said. We're unity dependents that share a kidney. I said, look, I hate to break it to you, but look at yourself, for God's sake, you've got four hands. You're more octopus than human. That's when Bobby slash Greg looked over his glasses, as did his organ-sharing counterpart, and said, First of all, you want octopus? You'll find it in bank next door with dead fish and duck hanging in window. Second, we kindly ask you to refrain from using word human. We prefer you person. Oh, that was it. No more of this politically correct madness. I reached over the counter and grabbed the bridge's skin and pulled them off the ground so none of their three feet were touching the tile. Nose to nose to nose. I said, look, eight eyes. I'm hot. I'm tired. And I've had a really bad day. All I want is my 20 bucks from the cash machine. Now, little did I know I was walking into the bank of Dr. Moreau, so just reach into your cash drawer and give me 20 bucks. In case you can't remember how to count it, that's one buck per finger. That's when a manager quickly came to my window and said, Hey, 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 is there a problem here? Well, I recognized him immediately from my days of watching ECW wrestling. He and his brother were joined at the elbow. They were known for the clothesline. I said, yeah, yeah. Problem is, I, I can't seem to get my cash from these two. Well, neither of us wanting any more trouble, he dismissed Bobby slash Greg and began counting out my money. One, two, three. As I watched him, I began to thank God that my nightmare in his stupid bank was over, and I actually started looking forward to breathing in the stench called summer in New York. The clothesline, uh, finished counting out my money and looked at me and said, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your business. I said, yeah, 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 right. He said, no, no, wait, 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 sir. By the way, would you like information on our mutual funds or joint accounts?